Hey everybody, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this Divi Quick Tip, I'm gonna show you how to make the new Divi 4.0 headers fixed on your website, or sticky on your website, so when you scroll, it sticks to the top. Now this is something that was default on the previous header, so anything pre-Divi 4.0, but if you're using the new theme builder and you're assigning a header in the theme builder, then there's no way to make it sticky or fixed at the top uh, unless you add some custom code, and so I'm gonna show that to you. So shout out to Michelle Noonan. She posted this code in her Facebook group, and so it's just a couple lines of CSS, but uh, very powerful, and then I, uh, uh, made some modifications and added to it so I'm gonna show you that now so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here now this is what the theme builder looks like so if you're using Divi 4.0 and you have activated it then this is what the theme builder looks like now I have uh, turned on the uh, or I'm sorry I've imported the first free theme builder layout pack that they have uh, put together uh, a template pack so to speak uh, which includes a new header and so um, this right here I, I basically uh, just am using a uh, previous released template pack and then I just paired it or I'm sorry a previous uh, re previously released layout pack and paired it with a new template pack um, it doesn't look that great but it is what it is. Um, so hopefully in the future they'll uh, release layout packs with template packs that match it, um, or you know theme builder packs that match. Um, but for now this is what we have to work with, and for this tutorial it'll do the trick. But basically we want it to fi be fixed or sticky at the top, just like it is in the previous version of the header and, and uh, pre Divi 4.0. To be clear though, if you turn on Divi 4.0 and you don't go to the theme builder, then you won't have this issue. It's only if you create a custom header or import from Elegant Themes, their custom header, and then assign it. So unless you do that, then you, you're gonna be using the, the previous header. So just wanna be clear on that. So in order to uh, do the customization that uh, I wanna show in this tutorial, you, you need to open up the theme builder, and once you have that header assigned, so basically how I got to this point here is I just followed the tutorial in the, uh, the blog post from today uh, Don G from the Elegant Themes team um, walks you through and shows you how to import the Theme Builder pack into Divi 4.0 into the Theme Builder. And so I just follow that tutorial and then you'll get to where you are here. And then you can open up the global header and add some custom CSS. And so I'm gonna edit this and show you, uh, there's basically two parts. We have the custom CSS, but then we also need to add the ID and the class to make it all work. And so uh, for some reason this is running slowly, not sure why, um, but as soon as this finishes loading, we're gonna go ahead and edit it. Now, one thing I like to do, because there's no padding here, it's hard to select the section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and just go into wireframe mode here. That way I can make sure I'm adding it to the section. That's what you wanna do, add to the section. Then you're gonna go to the advanced tab and then open up the CSS ID in classes, and we're going to add the class main dash header, or I'm sorry, the ID main dash header, make sure you don't get them mixed up, nothing will work. Um, and then we're add the class et dash fix dash header, and uh, you can find that in the blog post there. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click to save those section settings, so make sure it looks like this, no periods, no pound signs, just exactly what it looks like here. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. Don't forget to save the template layout. Um, otherwise, what we just did will um, not be saved. All right, so once that's saved, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. And come back here to my home page and refresh it. So I showed you how it wasn't fixed, wasn't sticky. Now I'm refreshing the page and we'll see what that looks like here. So now, Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't added the CSS. So if you just add <laughs> the classes and IDs, then nothing will happen because we haven't told it what to do yet. So um, so the second part of it is going into theme options and actually adding the custom CSS. And so um, you can add it to, if you're using a, a, a child theme, you can add it to the style sheet there. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it here for simplicity's sake. And so again, shout out to Michelle Noonan. Uh, I made some slight modifications, but she posted this in her Facebook group, uh, the Divi Soup Facebook group. So I'm gonna hit save. Now I can go over here and I can refresh this and show you the CSS in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to load. 
And then now when I scroll, it is nicely fixed to the top. However, if you look at this, we get back down to like tablet and mobile sizes. You'll notice that looks terrible. It's covering up stuff. It's just taking up a lot of screen real estate. We probably don't want it on uh, mobile and tablet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make some modifications to the code and uh, come back here to theme options. Basically, we're putting a CSS media query to basically say only execute this code if the if the width is greater than 981 pixels if it's 981 or bigger we're going to go ahead and click save <clears throat> so now refresh this now it's still fixed on desktop but when i go to the mobile widths the hamburger size, now look at, now it doesn't do it. Let's have when that hamburger menu takes effect, it is not fixed, not sticky to the top, which is what we want. So it's as simple as that, adding the CSS ID, adding the CSS class, having this, the proper CSS and theme options are in your style sheet, and then that's it, very simple. Now Elegant Themes will be adding uh, a feature, Nick Roach mentioned, uh, a feature that you can make any row, section, module fixed in Divi. Um, so that's going to be a feature that's coming out. He said in the coming week, so we'll, we can uh, definitely uh, look forward to that. But in the meantime, using the CSS, you can make it fixed. So very, very simple. So that is it for this tutorial. Uh, I originally recorded this tutorial live and then had some technical difficulties. My uh, trackpad decided to glitch out and not work and then my wireless keyboard decided to glitch out and not work and then it had some issues with Divi not accepting my custom CSS so um, basically decided to re-record this without the technical difficulties and then it'll be a lot easier uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this Divi quick tip and tune in live uh, we've been doing live quick tips um, over the last couple of days and uh, next week and, and uh, moving forward I'll continue to do those probably not every day of the week but uh, one to two times a week moving forward so definitely look forward to that and uh, until then take care bye bye